I don't even know what that is. Like, I think it's just a ball on a stick. Bile Ward. Bile Ward, you're going up against Doom Sheep. Is your, is your goal to distract them with a ball on a stick? Good morning, everyone. Day from the Wee Hours here, back with some more MMORPG Tycoon 2 here in the award-winning world of Davecraft. Let's get some naming out of the way immediately. Right down here, some folks who had been asked to be put in the game. Forian, you are right here as a triant. Adrian CC, I had to abbreviate your name because all the characters wouldn't fit. You are in here also as a triant. Past Fat Burger had asked to be put in as a Ramza, and I found one down here, our new little blue and white medical Ramza class. You're in here. Somewhere along here is, yeah, Keithy, you're in here here and down the road a little bit more a tall midget had been asked to be put in as a paladin there you are iron fixer you're in here tarago you're in here and you had specifically asked to be favorite so you know what you're up to when you're playing the award-winning world of davecraft so we'll favorite you and we'll keep an eye on you as time goes by uh you mad bro specifically asked to be put in as a frustrated character hence the name i guess and i found one so there you are and cj shark you're in here too i think that is the naming of folks who just asked to be put in as regular players anyone else wanted to be an elite and we'll kind of pick those off as time goes by as we put down some more elites one thing that i wanted to address immediately was what i believe was a fundamental misunderstanding about how the network works on my part and a couple of commenters had tried to sort of nudge me along and say uh, you're not really doing your network right dude you're you're kind of thinking about it in the wrong way see I was just going with some common sense which was the network was a circuit so if I put down a thing over here an uplink and another uplink over here I've actually put down two of them over here and then there's a fourth one over here I assumed if I just connected one uplink into to the circuit, it would broadcast more bandwidth. But a couple of commenters that said, no, try to think of it more like a leaf, that it's starting from one point and then branching out as it goes by. So I think I fundamentally messed up the net. Wow, how many uplinks do I have here? I have five uplinks here. We probably don't need that if I just do the cables a little more correctly. So I'm going to try a little bit of an experiment. This is our level three zone, the Sheep Dancing Glades, and it is constantly going down. It's way overloaded. I'm going to try actually removing some of the uplinks and then resetting the cables so it spreads the bandwidth out more. I think that's what I've been fundamentally doing wrong. Like right here, I slapped down an uplink and then just connected it into here, which I thought would be fine. But no, apparently it really needs to branch out with the cables. So let's see if that helps. What happens if I, I, I don't know about this, I'm just gonna delete that. I'm gonna delete this uplink right here and that was 5,000 back right there. That ain't nothing. And I'm going to delete this uplink right here. That's some more money back right there. But I'm going to take the cable and where's our, yeah, like this uplink right here. Let's see if we can kind of, it's tough to see because there's already stuff over here. Oh, untraversable terrain. All right. Well, let's see if we can get this to branch out and cover more area. Yes, yeah, it's going to start crossing other cables and whatnot. I mean, it's an imaginary world. Why can't it cross things? And then I'm going to put some more cable as I, I might just have to, I'm kind of thinking I just have to break down this entire network and start from scratch. I really do because I can't really put the cables down in any kind of efficient manner because they're all crossing each other. That would take this region down. Boy, are people going to be wicked sad about that. But it might be the smart thing to do, although I really can't afford to right now. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of a rebate back when we cancel those uplinks, but not enough to put some of them back at 5,000 a pop, or sorry, 1,000 a pop. Is it 1,000 or 5,000? I don't actually remember. Let's find out. It's 5,000. Yeah, I can't afford to put them back. All right, we're going to have to just pick at that as time goes by, and let's actually turn the game on. Speaking of money, let's get some money in here. We'll see if that helps at all. At least I've got some of them spread out a little bit more as best I can, but dang, this... Re oh, Tarago, you just logged out. All right, we favorited you, and then you left. Wow, this is just ridiculous in the Sheep Dancing Glade. 
do we have is is level three like a hard level or something is it hard to get to level four because the level four region the dark cupboard of tea is looking all right it's looking completely slammed and then our new level five region over here that we just started working on the despoiled area of the shadow knights over here in silver hill we'll mess with that name yep the shadow knights are over here just kind of hanging out despoiling the region and their mascot pet bear here who is named death bear for obvious reasons all right what I'd really like to see is that level six character today. I'd like to see somebody leveling up to level six because then we can open up a new character class. In the meantime, I'm going to address some more class trainers. I think that will be fun. So I'm going to put one over in the Sheep Dancing Glade in the level three zone. Let's mess with the Treants a little bit here. So you've got a Strike and a Flare, both of which you're learning at level one, and they're both basically damage attacks. What if we took the damage out unable to remove last ability effect combat abilities must have one effect okay you know what then i'm just going to take that out completely then i'll do it myself thank you very much let's add an ability attack to thank you for the comments for telling me how to rename this it was right up here i was trying to click it down here but no renaming is right up here i need to be able to rename literally everything around here okay cost to activate how about that cost you some mana uh, how about it cost you a little bit more because this is a better ability, or at least in theory it's a better ability. So what if it costs you two mana, but, but it actually healed you? We're going to make this a heal. Self-health, and we're going to take out target health. There we go. And it can heal you for, I don't know, two points? Is that good? Yeah, oh no, no, not that many, not that many. Two points. Okay, and let's get a different visual on this. We never changed this. How about it was green, because that's tree-like. And let's rename this. We'll call that looking for heals. There's a thing that I heard a lot when I was playing MMOs myself. And you're going to learn this, not at level 4, at level 3. There you go. So you have looking for heals. It's a self-heal, because I just don't seem to have an ability to target anyone else. I don't think parties are in place yet, although that is coming down. I'm really looking forward to parties and dungeons. That's going to be great. Looking for heals. It's going to heal yourself at the cost of two mana, and it's green. We're going to apply that. Yep, there we go. Looking for heals. Now, let's set up a class trainer for you. So NPCs give me a class trainer for the treants and you are going to live right there sir you are going to teach people looking for heals and let's do something similar up in the dark cupboard of tea our level four zone let's give trying to think what i've done recently um let's give the paladin a new ability your divine hammer how about we just gave you a flat out new ability you are a paladin you should have some sort of heal as well Right? That's what paladins do. I've played a little Warcraft in my time. How about you also had a heal? But it doesn't do target health. It does... Uh, no, sorry. I've done that completely wrong. Take that out, and then this is going to cost you mana to do it, and then it's going to heal yourself. We're going to take... We're getting a lot of lag here with MMORPG Tycoon 2. Try and keep up, game. Take that out, put this in, and... um. What do we feel this needs to cost you? Well, it's going to cost you three mana, but you're going to get three health out of it. We're going to call this last gasp because you're probably firing this off as you're about to die. And it'll have a nice pretty red color to it when we do it. Let's apply that. All right, so paladins now have an ability that they're going to learn at level four. Let's get a class trainer in here for you guys. So class trainer paladin can live right by the graveyard. Is anyone interested in getting trained up for this and how do i make you pay for it there's another thing we should probably bring up i did my whole little non-scientific experiment about microtransactions last time and then i was politely told in the comments microtransactions don't actually work yet they're theoretical they're in here you can turn them on but they don't actually generate any real money. I don't know that. That's what one commenter told me. I have no particular reason to disbelieve that commenter. The source seems to be directly from the developer, um, but that's kind of a bummer. I mean, don't bother putting them in the game if I can't gouge people for money. We're trying to duplicate EA here, for God's sakes. 
Oh, people are very interested in the class trainer, though. Look at all these new paladins learning their new ability here. Now you go, oh, there's another one, and Ikea, whatever your name is. Oh, and Altubic. You guys, oh, look at all the people coming in for this. Oh, they love the class trainer over here. Region Overloaded, which one? Is it the Sheep Dancing Glade? No, it's the Dark Cupboard of Tea, actually. Okay. What have I got for a network here? Could I actually do it right this time? Show me my uh, show me my network. Got two here. Now this one, it looks like I just plugged it in without actually extending the network. So what if we, let's get a cable to go from here to here, up into the Quinogre City, over here, back to here. Yeah, I think, I think the comments are very correct about this. This is really more like a leaf branching out than a circuit, although I will... Um, oh, it's too long. Okay, we can we can fix that. Let's just get that to link back into here because, I don't know, reasons? And seeing as this is a game that actively rewards me for blowing all my money on decoratives by increasing my version number, I'm going to blow all my money on decoratives, all 13,000 of it. Boy, that's not a lot of money. I had an idea. I've done it a couple of times in the game, but I really want to create a sort of massive Stonehenge-y kind of thing in the center of this area. I mean, it's all magically and wizardy and dark elfy. Let's make sure that it looks appropriate for what it is. Now that is a promising beginning there. Let's make it look a little bit overgrown, like no one's really attended to this area in a while. But I, I like the little sacrificial altar right in the center there. Uh, how big are these things? Yeah, a few of those could live around here. Hey, it's just increasing our version number. Look at that version tick right up there. 0.85, another 15 things we can get into 2.3. Maybe a few of these need to live around here, maybe one right in the center there. What else do we feel needs to, oh, we need, we need some skulls. Remind me where skulls are. There's a skull right there. Well, a skeleton anyway. Let's put a few more skulls around the place. Maybe one of them lives over there. Maybe a, a nice log. So if you wanted to sit down and take a look at the brutal sacrificial area of the Dark Elves, then um, you could do that. The Shadow Knights, excuse me. Not the Dark Elves. Shadow Knights. Let's not get into copyright issues. There we go, just ticked it right over into an upgrade point. Fantastic. A few more overgrown weeds and we are ready to upgrade. Cool. I'll throw some monsters or something down there in a sec, but what do we got for an upgrade? Aha! Oh, we've got a big upgrade. Ooh. Problem is a lot of these things don't work. Parties is not in effect yet. Not yet implemented. How about the friends list? I saw a penge at the geek cupboard had added the friends list one. Plus five to hugs. We've got a lot of hugs. We've got tons of hugs in the award-winning world of Davecraft. Puzzle locations. Landmark. Oh, not yet implemented. Grr. Grr face. Puzzle locations are landmarks with secrets to discover. That sounds awesome. I totally want that in the award-winning world of Davecraft. All right, how about world history? Uh, is this implemented, first of all? Every world came from somewhere. Where did yours come from? Well, me, mostly. Develop makes exploring your world more interesting to players. Okay, I like the sound of that. We could get PvP going, maybe. Is this implemented? Killer type and achiever types really enjoy PvP. Okay, maybe the next one. And what's badges? Plus five to bling. Show off their achievements to other players. Oh, I like that too. I'm really torn between world history and badges, but I think I'm going with world history just because it kind of makes sense for the award-winning world of Davecraft. It is sort of an RPG kind of thing, so let's get that going. And let's put some monsters in here. Do we have anyone at level 6 yet? No. What is your problem, guys? Level up faster. I should put some more quest givers down around here. Oh, Macduff is logged in. He's my favorite. Lay on, Macduff. Let's put an elite Shadow Knight down in here. Maybe they're trying to reclaim this area. Maybe, maybe they're trying to reclaim whatever mystical energy used to live here. And let's put an elite Lovecraft, because I feel those guys are everywhere. 
Those guys are just everywhere. If you're evil and you need to summon an unspeakable horror, you're going to get a Lovecraft on board. Let's give these guys some better names. Righty ho, so the elite Lovecraft is now Alstrox, who had asked to be put in the game as an elite, and I can't believe I got this far in the award-winning world of Davecraft without naming one of the elite Stabby. It's kind of a thing with our live stream every Friday, but Stabby stabs a lot. So Stabby, you're in here as an elite Shadow Knight, and um, somehow you're in charge of the Lovecraft over here, and now I'm going to send people to kill you. But I have infinite faith in you, Stabby, that you will stab them a lot. Ooh, everyone's having a little party over here. Any of our named viewers in here? I should have favorited more of them. I don't immediately see any. No, does not look like it. Maybe they haven't reached level 5 yet. I did name them as a lot of level 1 folks. They might not be over here yet. But let's get a brand new quest giver over here. And then I think I might put down... I might put down another class trainer over here for some high level level 5 abilities. We've got one wizard down. I should mess with the wizard's ability too. Okay, what model is this quest giver? Because maybe this one isn't a wizard. Maybe. Is there a defector shadow knight over here? I think there is. Yeah, there's a defector shadow knight over here who's giving out quests to, I don't know, he's the one nice guy out of the entire shadow knights and he's giving out quests like candy right now. Let's see what we can do with you. Can we? Oh, we can change your name now. Oh, we can change your name now. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So if you'd like to be a quest giver in the award-winning world of Davecraft, do please let me know because apparently I can change those names now. See, here's the thing. I want to be able to rename literally everything. Can I rename the buildings yet? No, not quite. I want to rename every single building. Heck, if you give me an ability, can I rename a rock? I would rename the rock. I want to put my own names on everything. So come here, who is now known as Esteemed Artdar. We'll, we'll, we'll mess with that. Yeah, if you want to be a quest giver in the award-winning world of Davecraft, do please let me know. What are your quests right now? Scenery and scenery. Okay, fantastic. That's perfectly appropriate. Let's add some new ones and let's give you a quest to, well, try and kill Stabby. Good luck with that. It hasn't worked out well for most people. And go ahead and take on Alstrox while you're at it. And how about a fifth quest just to fill you up? Go kill some Shadow Knights. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That seems like the right kind of quest for that guy. He's the one nice Shadow Knight. Yeah, go kill some Shadow Knights. Go kill all my friends. So let's fidget with the new attack that I put into the wizards. First of all, apparently it costs nothing to activate. That seems silly. It's not that good an ability. What if, instead of mana, what if it hurt you to cast this spell? It's going to cost you one health to activate that spell, but it's going to deal five damage. That's a pretty good trade. I don't hate that at all. Oh, Alien reached level six. Yay, we've got our first level six person. Actually, two people just did. And how about this was Shocking Pink? There we go. And what are we going to call this? We'll call this the ouchie attack because it hurts you a little bit. So you fire that off. It does amazing damage to your target. And you kind of go, ouch, that really stung a little bit, like getting a big paper cut or something. Let's apply that. Ouchie is in effect at level five. Down the road, I kind of want to backtrack through all the levels and add abilities as people are leveling up, but boy, there's a lot going on here. So we've got two players to level six. I believe that should open up a new player class. Oh yeah, that's what I was looking for right there. That's what I was looking for. New player class. Okay, yeah, you're a warrior. We're totally, totally messing with this. I've had a plan for this for ages, and it's not my plan. It was a commenter's plan, and I loved it, and we're absolutely going to execute it. I need to go back to another area so I can kind of see what I need to do here, but let's have some fun with this, air quotes, warrior. So welcome to the brand new playable class in the award-winning world of Davecraft, the Quinogre 
Rebels. This was a commenter's idea, and I thought it was fantastic. I absolutely had to execute it when I heard it. If I can't make factions, I can't do Horde Alliance, I can't do Red Team, Blue Team in MMORPG Tycoon 2 yet, then I'll just do it myself. I'll make my own playable characters that are modeled after the enemy characters. So these are the Quinoga Rebels, a splinter faction of the Quinogers who are nice guys now. Or, I mean, in the sense that anyone in a fantasy setting is a nice guy because they basically go around killing people all day. But these are the Quinoga Rebels. Now, what abilities are you rolling in with? A strike and a beatdown. Okay, that's nice. We'll keep the strike. We'll definitely keep the strike. But let's see what we can do with the beatdown. So maybe the Quinoga Rebels are a little more magic-oriented than their regular Quinoga cousins. Maybe that's why they were ejected from society or fled the Quinoga society. I'm giving you a magic attack. So instead of melee range, this is now at missile range. We're calling this magic napalm. I was going to call it Quinoga fire or Quinoga napalm, but I can't put an apostrophe up here, and it was just making me mental. I needed to look the way I needed to look. So this is magic napalm for the Quinogers. Nice bright red. Let's see. Let's go over to our level one region, the you know, completely not stuffed to the gills one, and see if we get any new Quinoga rebels joining. And saying that, I've actually got to go, not that there's going to be any Quinoga Rebels reaching level 3 immediately. Oh my god, look at the Sheep Dancing Glade. Whoa. Okay. Right. Um, do we need a, well, I say do we need another level 3 zone? What I really should do is flesh out the rest of the Sheep Dancing Glade. Because it's only half open. I don't think, I mean, where would I put another level 3 zone? I could raise up the ground here. Region overloaded. Is it the Sheep Dancing Glades? Uh, you're not going to tell me. Okay, region overloaded. It, it No, it's the Dark Cupboard of Tea again. That's weird. Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll mess with that. I've been meaning to flesh that out a little bit anyway. I've been meaning to flesh out everything. There's so much to do in the award-winning world of Davecraft, but just show me my network. Yeah, I did the same thing with the Dark Cupboard of Tea. It's kind of only half open. That's fine, though. I've got plenty of things, right? I, I'll, I'll, it'll be fine. Everything's fine. Everything's 100% fine. Not that we're going to get any Quinoga Rebels to level 3 immediately, but I do want to make sure that there's a class trainer for them because that new ability is tied to level 3, so you guys are going to need a class trainer. So NPCs, I know this is kind of silly to put it down now because we don't have any level 3 Quinoga Rebels. Oh my god, they look amazing. Um, but, oh, you're so tiny! Oh, you're so very, very tiny. You're the tiniest little Quinogre. Oh, look at you. You're adorable. You're absolutely adorable. And you're going to teach people magic napalm. Awesome. Yeah, I'm kind of hovering around the uh, entryway here in Bobcat Lands just to see if we get any Quinogre rebels popping up anytime in the near future. But while I'm here, while I'm here, I may as well flesh this out a little bit more. It's not going to kill me to throw down a, you know, another building or two. It's all just upgrade points anyway. Now that we're version 3.0.0, let's see if we can jack that up a little bit. Uh, region overloaded, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be either the dark cupboard of tea or the sheep dancing glades. I mean, I say the sheep dancing glades are jammed. I'm not, it seems to be the dark cupboard of tea that's the problem now. The level four zone, that's sketchy. I don't really know what to do about that. I mean, just keep throwing down networks, but the money is not... The money is fine. The money is fine, he says optimistically, but the money is not pouring in, per se, really. I mean, it's coming in, but okay, what is it? Which one is it? It Ah, there's the Sheep Dancing Glades. Okay, so we're having some problems in our level 3 and level 4 zones, so my answer to that is to go over to the level 1 zone and put some decoratives down. Got a bit of a floating building here. There we go. That's floating a lot less now. In fact, can we just, uh, you want to let me bring that out a little bit? No, it's way down in the ground, but I want that. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. All right, don't be like that. See if I care. Uh, let's just block that out then and block that. That's floating. I'm going to correct that in just a second if I can get up underneath it. There we go. That's a little less floaty. And I'm going to make one of my silly archways for no readily explainable reason. Oh wait, no I'm not because I love that gear on top of the roof. I'm going to leave that right as is. Thank you very much. But we will, may as well use up all the blocks. 
No reason not to use up all the blocks. Oh, that looks really good. I like that. I like the way that spawned in. I do enjoy the sort of degree of randomization that I'm getting because it just embraces my love of order and chaos at exactly the same time. Right, uh, you probably want some doors for that, don't you? Yeah, put a door there. Oh, what a good looking door for that. Okay, enjoy that, Treance. Um, if you see any Quinoga Rebels, do please let me know. I'm kind of actively looking for them. Oh, I like the way that one turned out where it just kind of branched off of the hill there and I, then I got it to come back down. I dig that. That's good. Let's give you a door. Let's make sure people can actually get in. Give, give, give me a door. Give me a door. Am I out of stuff? I'm probably out of stuff. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Let me um, let me blow the rest of my money on decoratives here, of course. We're already up to version 3.0.2. .2. That ain't nothing. Um, it's just two buildings, but it's very exciting nonetheless. I don't think I've got a potion shop in this area. I definitely have a blacksmith, and I definitely have a regular shop. I don't actually believe I have a potion shop. Well, that's no good. Where are you going to buy potions at real-world money that may or may not actually be going into the award-winning world of Dave Craft's bank account? Okay, there's a potion shop. Any Quinoga Rebels, please say yes. Aha! Yes! Harridan! Harridan! Hold the phone, Harridan. Hang on, hang on. There's a Quinogre rebel marching off to go kill his Quinogre friends. Destroy the Quinogres. Oh, the irony of it. Is that irony? I don't know. It might just be satire. I don't think it's either. Anyway, Harridan, Quinogre rebel, destroy the Quinogres. Off you go. I have started an interspecies war. Yep, it's Quinogre on Quinogre violence. Can't we just all get along? Oh, yeah, that didn't work out so well. But we're going to have a Ramza get it. Now, you have a heal. You killed the guy before you needed it, but you do have a heal. Uh, other things I should do that I don't do enough. Let's make sure we're checking for cheaters. Don't want any cheaty McCheaters around here. And thank you for the comments reminding me I was doing it backwards. I often confuse, you know, the pink and the green and which ones we have to ban and which ones we have to warn. But it's all good eventually. Now, the level one region is surprisingly free of cheaty McCheaters. That's excellent. I've got two regions, two regions that are overloaded right now. Uh, let me guess, it's the Sheep Dancing Glades in the Dark Cupboard of Tea. All right, consider setting up another region servicing the same level or add more servers. Okay, uh, but the extra servers only provide a small boost and are extremely expensive. I would, this would be, this would be a perfect time for MMORPG Tycoon 2 to institute the whole multi-level region. Because I could set a region up that would be like, say, level three to five. I don't know, here, anywhere, it doesn't matter. And then people could hang out in that region or a specific level three or a specific level four. It's all getting a little crowded around here. But still, our positive buzz grossly outweighs our negative buzz. Speaking of buzz, should we be advertising more? I mean, the thing is, can we actually fit any more people in here? Oh, I like my little Stonehenge-y kind of thing here. Now, the Geek Cupboard may have a single henge in, in his game, but I'm going all out on henges. Go big or go home in the henge world. That's what I've always been taught. I mean, the Sheep Dancing Glade is not overloaded right now. Yeah, it's always bordering around being overloaded, but... We don't have anyone queued up. Ugh. I kind of feel we're just going to have to wait and see on this. If I can avoid putting down servers, more servers that are going to cost me a fortune, I'm actually trying to reduce our costs overall, if anything. And that being said out loud, now that I've kind of messed with the bandwidth a little bit, I, wow, it's just like a swarm of ants in here. It is ridiculous in here. Well, if nothing else, if nothing else, get me to my network. What could I do about maybe opening up the rest of this? So give me my cable, please. What if we opened up more of the sheep dancing glades? Because we've got a lake and we don't have crocodiles. That doesn't seem right. So get that to there and then can we get this to come right over here there we go okay all of that's on 
theoretically. At, at some point, that's going to be on, right? Anyway, long story short, show me my network again. And why are you still grayed out? That concerns me. What if we did that to that? And then there we go. Now it's all turning on. Okay. All right. We need crocodiles around here. Right around the lake, we're going to have a whole mess of crocodiles. And I think possibly we need some bear can stocks in here too. Or actually, I should just put another region of doom sheep because, well, we've got doom sheep. Why would I not put that in there? Uh, let's get a path going. If I could get a path going all the way around the lake, that would be great. There we go, right around the lake, perfect. A nice little walk around the lake. Just take a stroll, getting your daily exercise and killing some crocodiles and all that kind of stuff. Okay, doom sheep. Doom sheep need to live somewhere around here in the trees. I know the region is overloaded. I'm putting more things in it, so it's going to be even worse. Don't worry about it, game. So a few doom sheep over there. Maybe a few doom sheep live over here. And show me, uh, get me back to my paths again. So that's a path around the lake. What if we put a path sort of from here to here to here, I don't know, somewhere around there-ish. Yeah, I know it's crossing itself. It's all going to be fine. Let me just make a little thingy here. I, I know it's crossing itself. It's I know it's crossing itself. It's all It's all gonna be fine, game. You know what, just end there, it's okay. And then what if we did one of those watchtowery things, the landmarky things, at the bare minimum to get people, I know it's going to take down some trees, that actually kind of helps because now I can see what I'm doing, at bare minimum to get people to just move over here. Because allegedly through all the glades of the sheep dancing glades, they can see that. Uh, Macduff is logged out, lay on Macduff, and a region is overloaded. Okay, let me just sprinkle a few things down in here. Okay, so I just built a very, very basic town over here. There's a tavern, there's an inn, there's a shop, and a respawn point. That's about all I'm willing to commit to right now, because it basically blew all my money on that. But at bare minimum, it is getting people kind of moving in that direction. Yeah, here we go. Here's a little team of folks marching over here. You might want to... Okay, yeah, we're, we're killing some crocodiles on our way. There it is. It's a nice little jog around the park. Somehow this tree has grown through the path, but I don't actually hate that. Nice little jog through the park, around the lake, killing crocodiles and doom sheep on your way. I should probably take some money to at least... I notice this is not on. This is not on. Why is that not on? Because it's not in network, Dave. Okay, fair enough. There we go. That's a little better. That should get things turned on over there. I should at least spend a little bit of money having a quest giver over here. I'm probably not going to do too much with this area right now, but I just... I, let's put a Ramza down. We don't have a Ramza quest giver. Let's put one of those guys right down there, and then maybe we'll put a Ramza class trainer here later. Maybe this... I don't know, this is a cleric-y kind of area. Uh, so you came in with a couple of kill quests, that's fine. Uh, go to the clock tower, you mean the one... Oh, not the one that's right there, the one that's way over there. That's basically okay. Kill the Quinogers, that's also okay. And go to the clock tower. Uh, let's see if we can do something different with that. How about the crocodiles? How about we took out a few of the crocodiles? There we go. Go to the crocodile zone, kill eight crocodiles. That is a good enough thing for you to be doing. Yeah, people are digging the new area here. They love to have a little walk around the lake and slaughter a few doom sheep while they're doing it. I should get a better path over to this town because they have to walk all the way through here. How about they have to walk through the doom sheep? There we go. They're not going to like that one bit, but my lord, it's like ants at a picnic over here. This is just a little silly. And I love the way all these guys have got different weapons as they're buying them. Paladin here's got a big, huge broad axe kind of thing. You've got sort of a weird axy, pickaxy, spiky thing. Looks like something a Klingon would use. You've got a big brutal battle axe. The wizard's got a little scimitar. I don't even know what that is. I, I think it's just a ball on a stick. Bile ward. Bile Ward, you're going up against Doom Sheep. Is your is your goal to distract them 
with a ball on a stick while literally everyone else has weapons and comes in and kills them. Oh, you've got a neat little, like, double pickaxe blade thing here. Oh, this is very cool. You've all got different weapons. Neat. I like that. Regions are still overloaded. Do please let me know in the comments what you think the ideal solution to that might be. I would prefer it was not more servers because as the game clearly states, that's more of a band-aid than a long-term cure. Uh, Shouting Stones is doing well, as is our first level one region. We haven't gotten a little pop-up saying that's been overloaded for a while. So building the second level one region certainly seems to have alleviated that, which of course leads me to believe we need another level three and another, another level four region to kind of take the heat off the Sheep Dancing Glades and the Dark Cupboard of Tea. And we have our new Rebel Quinn Ogres. I'm digging that. Thank you again to that commenter for that idea. Loved it, executed it. That is probably an excellent place to call it on MMORPG Tycoon 2 for today. Do please keep the ideas and thoughts coming. And if you'd like to be a quest giver now that I can rename them, do please let me know in the comments. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Some more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Robot, how do we rescue you? I I don't I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. Bugs are inherently stupid, and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them. It's a piece of mesh. We figured this out like a hundred years ago. What is wrong with the British, the Irish? Is it just a show about foxes all the time? If so, is that some sort of subtle esoteric thing about being a weapons manufacturer? Or is it just stuck on the nature channel?